Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and here we have a beautiful vintage Zenny Z16 padlock. I think it's actually not a, a as you might think here, a 60mm, but more like a 50mm padlock. But anyway, it's sent to me by subscriber Ian, which I'm very grateful for. And I believe I might have picked a Z15, which is um, a bit similar to this. But yeah, just all brass, looks beautiful, definitely had a life. And if you look at the key here, you can see that it's got lots of lovely wear on it. Um, just to show how well it's been used. These all brass padlocks are used in non-sparking environments. And Zenny have been around for, I think, probably over 100 years. Uh, I, I, they're definitely one of the older brands that came out of the UK. Um, what's interesting, though, is that the company Walsall, based out of um, Walsall in the UK, they make some excellent locks, Walsall 2000, the Walsall Ace, um, and they also still make the Zenny brand padlocks, apparently, is what I'm getting. So you could probably still get some of these for your industrial uses, um, which is kind of cool. It's nice to have an old one, though. Got lots of character. Anyway, enough waffling on about this gorgeous lock. Let's uh, stick it in a vice and give it a pick. So there's the key. Let's uh, get we're all working all locked up. Pop in a bit of bottom of the keyway tension. I'm going to use a... Uh, Peterson gem here, which is a um, just a, a nice 18 thousandths hook. I'm just going to go in and see what is binding. Pin three there. Nothing else. Going back to the back and ah, look, look, look. We have an open already. So why? Well. The bitting on this wasn't too extreme, and I'm picking off the warding here using this particular pick. So going back through, five, four, three. Um, and what I've done is once I've picked this, I've probably picked the first two pins as well with the shank. And as I've just pushed forwards I'm, um, with the hook, I've probably just nudged uh, these two pins as well, basically raking them as I go past, pushing the lock open. So I didn't need to actually particularly single pin it, um, it, 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 it more or less picked itself by me putting the pick in just due to the bitting, and that sometimes actually happens. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a bit of a shame because it means it's not quite as fun to pick, but it's a useful lesson to learn, and, and it does not take away from just quite how beautiful and collectible this lock is to me. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. In the comments, let me know of any other kind of like uh, uh, picks where you've been super surprised that you sort of just you know, stuck a pick in a lock you thought might give me a bit of a challenge and it's sort of just fallen over and open instantly. They're always fun stories to share. Anyway, thank you for watching. Like I said, leave a comment. I read them all and reply to as many as I can. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and I'll see you all next time.